Okay, so by now you understand how to calculate the, the essential values for batteries and how to compare them side by side and make an apple to apple comparison. Now let's go online and I want to show you an example of these industrial grade flooded lead asset batteries. So for this exercise I choose to go to, uh, to the supplier Trojan, Trojan Battery Company and not affiliated. And I'm going to products and I'm looking for a deep cycle flooded industrial grade batteries. So here we are, superior cycling industrial. Well, that's what we're looking for. So I'm scrolling down a little bit and we see a couple of options here. And let's look at the first one. So it is a six volt flooded lead acid battery with a 20 hour capacity rate of 472 amp hours. So let's open up the specification sheet of this battery. So there are a couple of values here that I want to point out. Some of the values that might be important for you as you're doing your research. Um, so this is a six volt battery. So a nominal voltage of six volts. And you have here the, uh, the capacity rating by means of the hour rating, right? So the value that you would most often use is the 20 hour discharge rate. Uh, it really depends on how you would set up your system, but most of the times I'm using the 20 hour discharge rate. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. So this battery has a capacity of 472 amp hours if you would discharge the battery fully over a time frame of 20 hours. Then let's scroll down a little bit. And I think what is interesting to show to you and what is really important, and it refers to the value of cycles that we got out of the battery as a result of the depth of discharge, right? So if you look at the graph that says depth of discharge versus cycle life in a stationary application, here we can see that if we would choose to go for a typical 50% depth of discharge, so every day we would discharge the battery to 50% and then recharge it again. Then the manufacturer says, well, if you do that, then you can expect to get a total of 3,700, 3,650 cycles out of this battery before you need to replace it. So that's where you get the value from. And you can see that it is a result of your chosen depth of discharge. Now let's scroll up a little bit because there's a few more values that I want to show you here, which are important. So if you look here at the left hand side, let's say you only have one battery, it's a six volt battery. You can see here what their recommended charging instruction voltages are, right? For the absorption voltage, the float and equalization. So those are the official recommendation from the manufacturer, but you can see that it is at a um, temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit, or 25 degrees Celsius. And this is really important as well because you can set your charging properly according to the manufacturer. But then what you also need to do is when you look at the right hand side, the, you need to enter the charging temperature compensation. So um, you can see here that you need to add or subtract a certain amount of voltage per cell for every degrees below or above the ideal operating temperature. So those are a couple of the uh, the essential values for uh, for batteries and I thought it was an interesting exercise for us to look at both how to compare the batteries on a performance level and also on a financial level. So by now you understand what an electric company